education. Um, actually, I am going to need the notes. I have no recollection of what we were talking about. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, so. So there was two two key things here, maybe right? Like the uh, the student matching the jobs and the apprenticeship. Yeah. Okay. So. Maybe speak to so the uh, okay, so so we had we had a we had somebody from the Ministry of Education and Training, and her basic problem or her identified problem was that skills matching people who are coming out of the apprenticeship program and people who are looking for apprenticeships, the matching up doesn't have a single point of entry, doesn't have a single point of data for for integrating. So the idea was to create an app or a web page that allows the the potential employer or the potential. Um, apprentice. apprentice journey person to go in there and say I'm an apprentice looking for this and the employer saying I'm looking for this type of apprentice you are here. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think we have an e-harmony so, e for apprenticeship. Yeah, uh, right. and there's, there, there's the, there exists a job <coughs> bank, uh, there's a database in, in the government that's available on a lot of the data. Um, there's less available from the apprentice side, so it's just figuring out how to integrate those two pieces of data together better than that. Which seems like a, a, you know, maybe maybe over the course of a year we talked about the challenges in organizing this internally, but um, it feels very feasible because it's not a big complex exercise. It's who's looking for people and who's yeah. looking for people. <laughs> who's looking for each other? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's it's still dating. You know, these yeah, things are not are not complicated, and you've got factors when it comes to when they're looking for people, when they're not looking for people. Yeah. You know, if I, if I post something in the ministry website and I find somebody, am I going to have 30 people calling me next week because it showed up and whatnot? Right, so that was um, one, and then the second one was? And the second one was, uh, was what actually, well, is sort of in the area that I, I come back, come down to. We have children who we've made accountable for their education. They, they're out there. They have to make their decisions from the time that they're in grade school all the way to the university, all the way through university or trade college. How do they decide what they're going to do in the future? Uh, how do they look at what's available or what's going to be available and then make the decisions now or what decisions do they need to make now to make sure that they're where they want to be in the future or where we want to be in the future? Or uh, in the reverse side, if this is where somebody wants to be, and they're currently in grade 11, what are the steps that they have to take to get to, to that point? So sort of back looking forward. Um, uh, look at the, at the, at the, where they are, where they're going, their own personal strategic planning, if you will. Uh, and then providing them with the data that puts them in the context of where they are or where they're gonna be. So whether it's a personality test to see whether or not that's the right career for them or it's their own marks uh, given back to them within the context of their, of their peer groups. Uh, rather than just say, you have an A, you have an A plus people like you have an A or have a B or have a C. And a bit of, um, I think we touched on Ministry of Labor, like to understand forecasts for what, you know, what will be in demand, what will be a challenge. If you look, oh, you're graduating and in this field, and there's a lot of people who couldn't get a job last year. Do you really want to go that way? Yeah, well, we, I mean, we run into that problem a lot. There was, there was for a while there, everybody said there weren't going to be enough teachers. Everybody became teachers. They created all these training programs, and then we have a big a lot of teachers. You know, to have that sort of, uh, of training information, the job bank information, all of that information that is really currently available uh, inside the government to make it available to people who are making decisions. Yeah, and I think also salary. Like I, I do something where I go talk to students about technology, and the first question is, how much money do you make? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, good for you for asking, but that would be a great piece of information to provide when you have these discussions with students. It, you know, you don't go to the guidance counselor and they go right to that, but it's important. So those are yeah, the data. And even and, and life satisfaction, job <laughs> quality, you know, how long people are in that career before they move on to another career. Yeah. How, long people, how many people who went into one program end up doing something different. All that information, Used to, or just isn't available, and I think that kids nowadays want information to make decisions. They don't, you know, follow where somebody tells them to go as much as we did. Witness this morning. Yeah, well, you know, like a, a guidance counselor. You know, who doesn't want to strangle their high school guidance counselor? So it's just a comment. There's these guys from. Uh, they have a, a, a web service called My Blueprint. I think I saw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were yeah. talking about that. Yeah, right. yeah so it, it, would it, it was just the, 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 a member of our group mentioned it, and we thought it was a great place to just add some additional stuff. The 
the uh, personality <coughs> tests, the sort of uh, <coughs> longitudinal tracking uh, yeah. and your current state. And I, I also wanted to add that there's there's a, a that that kind of decision tree sounds uh, also would be great for a different audience, which is not people that are taking school, but uh, recent graduates or, or just anyone in the market uh, uh, right now, because we all know that the ma market is shifting and it's changing, and the trend is going to be for uh, small engagements with different companies instead of one single work for life. So we are all going to be on that situation and requiring the information of how long people, what's the rotation cycle, and how long people stay in the same gig. Um, <clears throat> what do you do if engineers go into into what careers, or people with what background tend to migrate in which directions? So kind of like a African savanna migration pattern for... Yeah, even, <coughs> even and even for employers, like if I'm an employer and I know there's going to be a deficit of, of construction, or 68,000 person deficit in construction workers in five years. Um, <coughs> Maybe I should plan for that. Maybe I should plan for the fact that five years I know it's going to be really hard to find people and I'm going to have to start paying more in wages and I'm going to have to do all that kind of stuff. We don't do any of that right now. I, sp I speak to private companies and they still think that five years from now it's going to be exactly the same as now. And I keep trying to convince them you're going to have to pay more in wages, you're going to have to pay more of this because changes coming in population and, 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 and jobs and all that kind of stuff. Okay, any questions? Look at a couple of hands. Yeah. Yeah. Quick question for you. The second half, I did. Okay. Do you envision it as a prescriptive service or as a reactive service? Interesting. We had the same argument. I actually was <laughs> totally against the, the, the prescriptive. You know, like if you go in there and you put it in, it's going to tell you sometime down the road you're going to be this. I think of it as too well, that, prescriptive. Uh, that would, uh, prescriptive would be more of a reaction thing. Like, uh, I put in the data and I say I want to get doctors. Says, oh, based on this information, you're going to have to bring these marks up. You're going to have to focus on this area. But giving you input as to do it, and I'm wondering if that is something you envision. If you guys had any thoughts and talk about how you would achieve that kind of goal. Um, I think yeah. that I think that yeah, that was that definitely that. Uh, you know, I need a huge data set yeah. to, in order to do it. Um, the data set certainly could exist. Uh, whether they exist now. Um, yeah, I mean, I, if you partnered with Workopolis, you could probably scrape a lot of that data. I mean, it's there. Just Certainly not team. now. Um, you were able to pull that out. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things are really cool. <laughs> 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 you know, you give me access to the Canadian Institute for Health Information, and I'd show you some real, really <laughs> cool stuff. But I mean, nobody gives you access to the data. Yeah. What I we're here for, right? See another hand? Anybody else? Okay. I just want to talk about the career planning. Yeah. In some of the more current systems like Workday, uh, data can be used as benchmarking mm -hmm. uh, against some of the modules they have there called talent workforce planning. <coughs> where an organization, depending on their level of maturity, will, and uh, you know how much money they have, they'll go ahead and look at who we have internally that's promotable and is on track, versus where do we have to go out and get people mm -hmm. compared to market, and adding that third data point would be great. It would really give them a spy on whether they have to make their people smarter and grow in mm -hmm. their career, or they're going to have to go outside anyway mm -hmm. because the outside environment is changing. So yeah, you know, I see. Knowledge. I come from the hospital side of it, where we're yeah. doing that stuff on a like we have to do. It. Yeah, you can't get away with not planning your workforce because you're never going to be able to find all the nurses, or the doctors, or anybody that you need. So you always got to manage your personnel and educate them and stuff like this. And the government pays us to to make sure that our, our staff are continue on with their education. It'll start to flow into other industries because you know, people are useful. Okay. Worthwhile. Any other questions? No? Okay. Well, I think that's a wrap. Actually, I, 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 there, there are some parting words that I would like to share. All right.